it's Mad Montreal, man. I know you think, what the heck are you doing coming to us from the bathroom? Well, let's just put it this way. The topic on my mind that has got me so pissed off is basically a topic that involves human shit. I'm talking about the mayor of Vancouver and the rest of the GVRD mayors who have decided that, hey, you know what? Let's screw the people even more! Oh, if you haven't heard, folks, they are voting on Friday to raise another gas tax. Yes, two more cents on every liter of gas. And why? Well, because they want to uh, support TransLink. It's for them. Yes, the slave mine masters at TransLink want more money. Hey, last time I looked, wasn't TransLink a private corporation? So we're being taxed two cents more a liter to help support a public... No, it's not a public, is it? It's a private corporation that serves the public, but it's still a private corporation. Let me see. This is TransLink that says they lose $9 million a year that they know of, the people not paying fares, but they don't want to really have bus drivers enforce fares. They don't really chase people who don't pay their tickets. They have an owner system. Let's be honest, folks. We're paying TransLink money left and right so they can rip us off more. They have people at every station. Why not have them check people's fares? Actually have like every other city, turnstiles, and make money. But no, us, the poor taxpayers, have to pay two more cents a liter per gas. And now you're thinking, oh, well, that's nothing. We'll get used to it. We will. But do the math, folks. Two cents more a liter gas, that means shipping companies have to pay more. And if they have to pay more, they're going to charge the distributors more. The distributors, in turn, will double that fee that they're getting from the extra two cents to charge it to the retailers. And retailers, well, they're not stupid. They need to make their money, too. Well, double that fee that they get to you. That's right. For that two cents every liter of gas you're going to get, don't be surprised if prices go up about 20 cents on everything else you like to buy. Because things don't magically appear here in Vancouver. They have to be shipped here. And as for the mayors, let's just put it this way. It feels like they're bringing back this system that we used to refer to as endangered servitude. It's so expensive in Vancouver, folks, right now that you can't even afford to leave because it takes money to save up to move, but you're working so hard to make money to survive. Last year, they calculated that the average cost to live in Vancouver was eighteen seventy-five an hour. How many people out there are making eighteen seventy-five an hour? They estimate that seventy-five percent of the Vancouver population makes less than twenty thousand dollars a year. Start thinking about that. There's a good chunk of those people who barely make $12,000 a year. So an income of two is $24,000 a year. You have this much population paying this much tax. And you have the rich part up here expecting us to pay. Kind of crazy, isn't it, huh? Can't afford to live here. Can't afford to move. I like to see all these wonderful people like the mayors and one not live at our income levels for a year and see how much they like having to pay. Two more cents a liter. You don't think it's a lot, but it does add up, folks. It adds up, it adds up, it adds up. I mean, what's next? Well, if we're going to do a tax for, say, let's put it this way, Translate, well, why not do a tax for Safeway? Because you know what's going to happen? All those wonderful people out in Surrey and White Rock who live right next to the border, well, it's easier for them to drive across the border, get their gas cheaper, and buy it here. But that also means that they're going to drive across the border. All they must do their shopping down there. Let's get our groceries in the States. We're right here. So guess what? That two cents a liter gas tax has actually hurt the retailers in the GVRD because people will be going to buy their stuff elsewhere. So let's do a tax now to help Safeway. Let's do a tax to help, oh, I don't know, all the gas stations that will be struggling. Let's do a tax for everybody. In the end, what's going to happen is you'll be paying so much money in tax that only those rich people up there will have any money. But eh, that's all right, Massa Robinson. I I'd be a good, I'd be a good vehicle owner. I'm paying my two cents. Here's my two cents, Massa Robinson. Oh, please don't let Translink hurt me, Massa Translink. Here's my two cents. This is Mad Montreal. Think about it, folks. Only thing that cares to these politicians are our deaths. 